Hi everybody, CyberRev here. I just want to speak to you on the subject of Holy Bible versus Bibles. I want you to think about that title for a minute. Holy Bible versus Bibles. And think of how many Bibles we have around the world. And I'm talking Bible versions. Because what you think is the Bible may not be the Bible. I'll say it again. What you think is the Bible may not be the Bible. You know, we've been brought up with versions of the Bible like the King James Version, the NIV Version, and there's all different other forms of Hebrew. You have ancient Hebrew, modern Hebrew Bibles. You have the Jewish Bible and different religions and denominations, Pentecostal, Adventist, Baptist, Catholic, Mormon, Evangelical, Islam and Buddhism. And think of all the different people from Brazilian to Moroccan, German, Russian, Irish, British, American, Canadian, Australian, Aborigine, and the different tribes of Africa, Bantu, Yoruba, Zulu. Think of all the different nations and tongues of the world and the different languages of the world. Now think of all the different gods and goddesses in the world. 33 million gods and goddesses just in India alone. What I'm trying to do is, is get you to really think about what I'm saying. I want you to really listen to every single word that I say. Just think about it. The reason for this is, even as a PhD pastor or a doctor of, in theology or science, education, regardless of what denomination or religion that you attend or claim to be a member of, there is only one holy Bible. One. It had to have started the notion of, wisdom knowledge and understanding of the bible had to have originated somewhere as a concept with the education with the wisdom with the knowledge and with the understanding i'm sure you can agree with that it's just like having a tree you cannot say i found this tree unless that tree has a seed and a root and has been planted and that tree has grown to the point you've understood it is a tree and what kind of tree it is. You have to have the knowledge, wisdom and understanding to know what kind of tree it is. Because there's many types of trees. So it's not just a physical tree. There has to come knowledge, wisdom and understanding about what kind of tree that is. It's the same way with the Bible. And to create a Bible you have to have language you have to have alphabet, you have to have writing words, whether they be pictorial or alphabetical with vowels. When actually pictorial and writing alphabetically, meaning A, B, C, D, E, F, G, with vowels or a picture pictorial without vowels actually still is an alphabetical system. It's just one is pictorial and one is not pictorial. That is important. It may not resonate with your psyche or your mindset, but it's important that you understand that. In, in other words, rem imagine the first Bible being just pictures, just pictures. How they would paint Egyptian hieroglyphs, or you would have paintings on the sides of walls and churches and ceilings in the oldest churches and in the world like those stone churches in the world and stone churches of ethiopia axum or of kemet egypt or sudan or nubia or kush of africa it's important to understand that those forms of hieroglyphs in objects true biblical artifacts are not written with vowel systems of or a e i o u they're pictorial they're pictures but the pictures are actual letters of the alphabet and that's why you need to perhaps go and study or research hieroglyphs
because this is what the Bible looks like, the real Bible looks like. In fact, let me just put it straight to you. The Holy Bible is only written in stone, not paper, not paper versions. It is only written in stone. This is so important because many people worldwide of all denominations and all religions and all tongues and all nations think that the Bible is written on paper versions. That's why you have Jehovah Witness has their own Bible. That's why you have and Judaism have their own Bible. What is even the word Jewish? Think about what is Jewish. What does the word Jewish mean? And the people of Jewish, where do these people come from? Because they don't come from Israel. If you do the research, where did the word Israel come from? Go to Wikipedia and look at the word Israel with a Y on the front. Well, just put Y at the beginning of the word Israel. It becomes Israel. And also in the middle of the word Israel or Israel, you have Ra, R-A. This is important, Ra. But you also have at the end of it, L, E-L. Put that in capitals. The Holy Bible literally centers around the word Yisrael with a Y at the beginning and Ra in the middle, okay? But that's why Israel has been created of the El God, L at the end, E-L, El God, research El God, and you can see the photos in the video of the El God because the El God is competing against the Ra, creator of all gods. And obviously one is man-made versions of the Bible. El God is Canaanite Mesopotamia El God. This is what's created man-made versions of the Bible. And that's why when you look and read the beginning of the Bible, man-made versions of the Bible. And the very first verse of Genesis chapter 1 verse 1, and it says, In the beginning, God, God created the heaven and the earth. Just that first verse. And I'm wondering to myself as I, as I do this recording, does T.D. Jakes, Creflo Dollar, Joel Olstein, Paula White, Benny Hinn, and all these mega church pastors, even your pastor, and all the pastors that I've served and met, I've even spent a year in the monastery with monks. But when, the, when you hear the word God, you think to yourself, nothing could be wrong with the word God, right? But what if the word God does not mean creator at all? I'll say it again. What if the word God does not mean creator at all? What if the word God is different to the word creator? I'm deliberately going slow here, but I'm trying to get you to think. I'm trying to get you to research. I want you to research what I'm saying. God actually means, and think of Genesis 1 verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Now, this is the paper form of the Bible, man-made versions of the Bible. The original Bible is stone. The original Bible is stone. It is stone. That's, it's, it's, the original Bible is hieroglyphs. The original Bible is obelisks. The original Bible has been written in stone in order to keep it and preserve it from being altered, damaged, distorted, stolen, and all these things that you know and I know mankind is capable of doing because of all the different beliefs, because of all the different religions, of all the different gods, man-made versions of the Bible. And you want your God to be white and, and this God to be brown and this God to be um, Indian and this God to, 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 to be have three heads and be of India or Pakistan or Muslim or Mormon or Christian or Roman. Think of the word God means, and you can research this, it's Elohim, Elohim. 
So God meaning Elohim, think of the word El. Remember when I said Israel, El at the end of Israel. Israel was before Israel because Israel was created in 1948. So how do you get Israel created in 1948, but it's in the the, the beginning of the book of Genesis, right? Now watch the deception. Watch the deception. Real deception because this is what people do not understand. They do not understand that the paper versions of the Bible were actually written to deceive and alter and change everything. In history, in, in image, in words, in beliefs, in religions in order to take it out of Africa. That's why you have the pharaohs looking like evil, wicked people when the pharaohs were kings and queens of Africa. Africa. The whole Garden of Eden is Africa. It had to be Africa because you cannot have exotic animals, exotic fruits, exotic trees, gold diamonds, and exotic species anywhere else. On planet Earth, with the environment and the climate and the waters, the Nile River, but Africa. So the creator is, and if you look in the middle of the word creator, you see Ra, capital R, capital A. Ra is in the middle of creator. Ra is in the middle of pray. Ra is in the middle of praise. The whole entire alphabetical system, science, astronomy. The understanding of the cosmos, the sun, moon, stars, everything has come from Africa. Whether you call it Kemet, Egypt, Nubia, Kush, it's Africa. And this is what people need to understand. The Bible, the Holy Bible, original Holy Bible, and will always be the original Holy Bible, is written in stone. And that's why it says... The stone, the stone that the builders rejected becomes what? The cornerstone, right? And that's Psalms 118 verse 22, written of King David. Now, the other thing about the man-made versions of the Bible is, and I want you to understand this, is that the characters and the names of this King James Version or NIV versions or any other versions of paper They've changed the characters of the original Bible. That's why the original Bible has kings, real kings and queens of Africa. Kemet, Egypt, Nubia, Kush. And what they've done is use narratives in order to take it out of Africa. And take it into white Jesus on a donkey with Mary being crucified by the Romans. Yet the Romans end up being the Pope in Rome, worshipping the very Jesus that he's supposed to have killed. Then you have Jacob marrying Leah and Rachel, which were two sisters, and impregnating the two sisters plus the handmaids in order to create 12 children that become the 12 tribes of Israel. And as you read in the Bible, how can Israel be, as I said before, how can Israel be Israel in Genesis all the way through the Bible when Israel was created in 1948? The Israelites never could never ex have ever existed in as a people in biblical times. Why would they have to Israel of 1948? If you research who the El God is and then you look at who Ra is or Amun Ra, Begin with Ra. Ra is the creator of everything. You have to go with the earliest people. The oldest human DNA is of South Africa. The Khoisan people. The oldest human DNA on planet Earth. As a fact. Not fiction. And Ra is the ancient Kemet Egyptian creator. Who rules over all gods and goddesses. Because the, you have to think of the kingdom. The kingdom of heaven is really all about the cosmos and the universe and the gods and goddesses work within that kingdom to regulate good and evil and, and the entire cosmos or universe of sun, moon, stars, breath, light, spirit to spirit. So the creator needs his gods or appoints his gods and goddesses in order to 
operate and manage all these things. That's the real Bible. So all these Bible versions that we have of paper and across different religions and denominations are really man-made versions of the Bible. The worship of pagan Baal gods, goddesses, beliefs and traditions, including Judaism and Jews of Israel, because really Israel is just really a tourist area of things to do with Jesus, right? But there's no J in the first King James Bible of 1611. Go research it online. There's no J in the first King James Bible of 1611. And most Bibles were written around the 16th century because the first King James Bible is written in 1611. You've got the hieroglyphs and you've got the Bible written in the real true Holy Bible written in stone from 3,000 to 10,000 years old or more. I know people will bat within their mindset because they're, they're used to saying, I believe in Jesus, I believe in Christianity, I'm a Christian. When they don't really understand where that root came from. Where that root came from, if you go and research it, it came from Constantine, who was a, a pagan emperor of Rome. Go Google it. Go research it. Christianity has come from a pagan system. Not only that, the whole Jesus, 12 disciples, Mary, narratives, concept. There is no archaeological, scientific evidence whatsoever to this date. Yet you've got the Egyptian pyramids of, of Egypt. When you think of the word pyramid, in the middle of the word pyramid, you have the word ra. In the beginning of the word repent, you have re, re. Re means sun ray. And in the middle of the word sun ray, you have ra. This is not coincidence. The whole ability to for any country of any language whatsoever whether you speak Chinese Russian German Spanish all language has come out of Kemet Egypt Africa or the people of Kush and Nubia but they don't use the word you notice the Bible's versions of paper don't use the word African and Africa but they're talking about Africans in Africa what do you think pharaohs are? What do you think Kush means? What do you think Nubia means? What do you think the Nile River means? What do you think Abraham means? And Ra is in the middle of the word Abraham. But they weren't called really Joseph, Moses, Abraham, Noah, all of that. The real characters of the Bible from the original Bible of stone a kings and queens of Africa, but Westerners with their racism and their hatred, whether they're from Europe or whether they're from Arabia or whether they're from Mesopotamia or Greek or call themselves Jewish, they could not come under an African commit Egypt creator. They couldn't deal with real kings and queens being of Africa. And the Garden of Eden is of Africa. They couldn't handle that truth. They couldn't handle that belief. That's why I'm making this audio and video. And this is why we have to come back to what is true. What is original of stone, not paper versions of global deception. And this is why the movie with Mel Gibson, The Passion of the Christ, and other books become popular around the subject of the Christ to demonstrate he could never have spoken English or Greek. In fact, he could never have no suntan. We need to understand what's going on here. The global deception is so real to your salvation. It is so real to heaven and hell. It is so real to your psyche of blessings, not the curse of deception, not the curse of man-made religions, not the curse of racism. We need to go back to the universal creator, Ra, Amun Ra, Hallelujah, Bara, the Jewish word for creator, Bara, B-A-R-A, -A, 
capital R A Bara. Ra is there again, as he is in the middle of pray, as he is in the middle of praise. It's time for the this. This is the latter rain. It's time to wake up. Do not serve the world, nor the things of the world. Otherwise, the love of the Creator Ra is not in you. What do you think of what you've heard? If you have any comments, leave your comments on YouTube, Twitter. Please like, share, subscribe to the Cyber Rift channel. Thank you for listening.